What's up, Glam Tribe? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a styling video, and if you find yourself struggling to create outfits from using one piece and you want to get the most out of your wardrobe, this is the video for you because we're going to be focusing on Bermuda shorts or like the tailored short look and how to style it in four different ways. And that way you can get the maximum use out of one item for spring, summer, 2021. You're going to look effortless, chic, elevated, polished, all of the above, um, and really own your style after watching this video. So if you're ready for the style, give this video a thumbs up and then let's get ready to get into the outfits. Okay, so here is outfit number one with the city shorts. Um, starting from like head to toe, the top here is from Lulu's. It's just a puff sleeve crop top. It zips in the back. It fits really um, snug, but not uncomfortable snug. And I like that even though it's a crop, it has enough coverage if in case you're a little bit busty. Um, you can usually wear this one with some ease. And I am wearing a strapless bra underneath as well. Of course, the infamous city shorts that we're styling, and I paired it back to Aphrodite heel from Dress Fab as well. Um, moving into accessories, is Joanna hat from Brixton. Year after year, a great summer hat. Invest in it. Is it kind of pricey? Yeah, it's over $50, but the um, quality is really nice and sturdy. It does come in different colors and it comes size. So if you're like me, a little bit larger head, you can find a hat for you. Mine's sitting a little odd because I have the ponytail, but this one fits me perfectly. I wore it all last summer. Now for jewelry, you know I love gold jewelry and stacking. I think stacking brings detail, different layers, different textures alive in an outfit. So the necklaces here are all from Goriana. The top one is the Wilder. The middle one chain is called the Nico. It's like a really cool box chain. And then just a um, butterfly totem necklace, but any pendant that can end at the stack will bring it all together. This hoop is from Lana, but any basic hoop will. So if you're going a little heavier on the stacking, just go with a basic hoop or a huggy for your earring. And then I did match like a wrist stack to this, which is the Harper, which is that paper clip chain and the Wilder, just to kind of tie these two together. And then for the bag, this one is my Amazon woven bag. Um, it comes in a few different colors. I grabbed it in black because it was something different. And then I just tied a silk scarf to it. These are in like my must have Amazon accessories. The silk scarf, of course, will give this outfit some color since it's just like your neutrals and just a good little point of interest as well. Okay, so here's the second look. It's just a play on suiting styling that can go with these shorts here. I paired it back with a linen blazer that I had already in my wardrobe um, and just a v-neck tee just to keep it all tonal and then pulling together with this cream dumpling clutch. It does turn into a crossbody as well. And then also just a Gucci A sneakers. For jewelry, kept the same hoop earring. I just thought it was perfect and still minimalistic. I did change up the necklaces. So here from Goriana is the Venice necklace on top. It's like just a classic herringbone. Pair it back to the Nico necklace and pulling in the Nico ring right here. So just kind of getting that same detail to go back to the necklace. And just having a watch, I think it's still so good to have a classic watch. Um, even I have a Fitbit, but I always wear my classic when I want to feel a little bit more dressy. So here is look number two. Okay, so here is our third and final look. A quick head to toe shot. We're going to go into the details. This is a white button down. Most powerful thing probably in your wardrobe because of how versatile it is. I just tied it up at the front. If you feel more comfortable with doing a full button down and tucking in, you totally can. Of course, the same city short. And here is the Janala um, wedges. They're just an espadrille wedge. Any espadrille wedge, wedge will do, but these are the ones from 
um, just fab. I pulled out my little vintage Fendi bag again to break up the white on beige, just adding in accessories with a little color variety very strategically. This is one of them. Number two, of course, is just tying that silk scarf around. Um, I got that idea at the last minute because still just pulling in a little bit more color so you don't feel so um, washed out. Now for jewelry, this is the Venice necklace from Goriana. It's just a simple herringbone. It hits right here at the um, collar really nicely. And this is a new earring from them. This is called the Alice Statement Hoop. It is so pretty, the perfect bit of texture. And it's not too big, so it kind of gives a nice little standout moment without being overpowering. Um, still have on the Nico ring just for a little um, ring action going on here as you can see with that little detail and then just again with a classic watch so this is pretty much the same outfit except for two different details for this fourth look i swapped out the shoes and wanted to show it with a flat sandal instead of a wedge just for a comfier option and then i pulled back in the dumpling clutch because this shade of brown was just more warm and rich than that of the vintage fendi bag i kept the scarf you could always go without you could do a headband however you want but just a really easy polished casual look just by swapping out the shoes now that wraps up all four looks that i pulled for you all i will drop styling details and notes in the description box down below if it's something that's still available you can find a link there it will usually be an affiliate link but don't worry that just goes to support me now the conversation doesn't end here please let me know which was your favorite look. And if you want to interact with me more, get to know me and see other fashion through my daily life, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram at Lipstick and Anissa. I cannot wait to connect with you all in the next video, which I'm going to throw up on the screen for you to enjoy. I'll see you in the video. Click on the video. Boop.